eDigital Africa Media presents Everything Digital with Faith History. And now, Faith History. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Everything Digital, the show where we bring you everything cool, everything hip, and you got it, everything that's digital in your world today. And as always, I'm your hostess with the most is Faith History. And I will be your digital guide on this series. So today it's all about the creatives. So if you're creative, get in here. You could be a voiceover artist, a radio host, or maybe you're an animator, content creator, art director, writer, whatever you are. You are a creative when your job every day is to think about uh, ideas and bring them to life. And sometimes you get something called a creative block and when this happens to you it's so painful eh? you'll just be like ah I have no ideas I'm not motivated you'll think that you know actually your career might be over um and you're under pressure because you know your boss is like yeah I need that like yesterday so how do you um how do you how do you turn that around that's what today's episode is about all right so we've all been through a lot over this last few months as we all know uh with the COVID-19 the lockdowns the quarantining uh not being around our friends our family and for some of us it's you know been an emotional roller coaster and it's affected our work it's affected our creativity and that's why I am talking about this today, right? So my team and I said, you know what, let's talk about this because a lot of people are working from home and, you know, people adjust to trauma, people adjust to issues in life differently. And it's only normal uh, that people also adjust at different paces, right? So apart from being distracted when you're about to make a breakthrough on the work that you're doing, or even just even have to explain yourself as a creative to people around you who don't think that your work is a real, uh, it's real work, you know, like, ah, how serious can it be You're over there creating beats all day? Um, well, you know what? For a creative, uh, that creative block is the worst nightmare. And, you know, creating content all the time can be a hassle. You know, I won't even lie. Uh, even if it's something that you love, sometimes your brain just decides that, you know what, I'm, I'm taking a break and it's taking a break without your permission <laughs> and it's not pretty at all. So when you're on a deadline, you know, your client, your bosses, everybody just wants to, uh, for you to deliver. They don't care about your block. They don't even want to hear that you have a block. All they care about is deliver, deliver, deliver on time, on budget and, you know, otherwise you're out. They might fire you. They might hire someone else. I mean, all that pressure. So this episode, I'm going to walk you through some super tips on how to deal with creative block. Now you're probably thinking, Faith, you know, how is this, you know, something that everything digital should be dealing with? Well, you know, we're dealing with it, you know, because today, like as always, your digital guide is going to be your digital guide. This time your digital uh, psychologist or guru uh, in that case, because I've gone through creative block and it's not pretty. Like even with my team, sometimes it's just like, oh, you guys leave me out of it. And then they have to drag me back in and ginger me and we ginger each other. And that's one of the major tips that I will tell you. It's not on my list, but I will tell you that surround yourself with other creative people. And um, that would be one of the main ways that you could get yourself out. But let's go back into what a creative does, like who a creative is, you know, because you're listening and you're thinking, am I a creative? Well, you're creative if you use the liberty to add your own dimension uh, to your task, right? So they've given you a task and your task is, you know, to create something and you can add things to it. You can add a dimension to it. You're not just cookie cutter. You're not just a paper pusher. You know, you're someone that's allowed to take your own ideas and add it to your to the task, to your daily work uh, that you create. And if you're able to go one step further, you're not tied to a predefined path, then you are a creative, you know. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some professions that require the same old uh, processes, you know, but creative minds will always find a new and amazing way to get something done faster and more innovatively. So whether you're a software developer, an entrepreneur, an engineer, a teacher, or even a caterer, you can be a creative. Every time you think outside of the box, you are a creative. Uh, if you perceive the world in new ways, you find hidden patterns and make connections between things that seem unrelated and you generate solutions, yes, you are a creative. And if you produce if you produce things from scratch, no matter what industry you're in, you're definitely a creative. 
So I like this particular uh, definition of a creative block and it's from goodtherapy.org. It describes it as the inability to access one's internal creativity. Simply that. It's not like you've lost your creativity or your creative skills, but you're just experiencing a slowdown, right? You know, you're not able to just access it the way you were able to before. And there are different types of these creative blocks. I'm going to show you some of them when we come back. Let's take a quick break, hear a word or two from our sponsors. And when we come back, I'll talk about the six types of creative blocks. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Everything Digital, the show with Faith History, and we'll be right back. And we're back. All right. So before we went on break, I said to you that we were going to uh, go through the different types uh, of creative blocks. So there's six different types. And um, you're listening to Everything Digital, by the way. My name is Faith History. And uh, we're getting right into the types of creative blocks that uh, us as creatives uh, experience. Now, number one is this mental block. So this is where you get trapped by your familiar way of thinking. Uh, the same way of looking at the world is keeping you limited. This is a creative mental block, right? You need to think outside the box Think about the way you see the world. Open up your mind to get over a mental block. The next one is the emotional block. Now, creativity can be intense and sometimes you have to explore emotions that you're probably not comfortable with. So this type of block is not lack of an idea. You just don't like where the idea you have is leading to. So maybe your subject matter is painful, it's embarrassing, or it's just plain weird. You know, the whole idea is that you have an emotional block. And if you notice a lot of, um, you know, a lot of artists, especially musicians, you know, when they have an emotional block, this can affect their work because they just don't want to deal with it. So once they let it out and they just say, you know what, my heart is broken and I just got over a bad relationship and I'm going to sing about it. Ooh, we get the best songs, don't we? All right. So work habits that don't work. That's the third one. So this could be your work pattern that's harming your creative process. You might start work too early, too late, not too long or too, you know, just not not long enough or too long, right? So it could be one of those, especially now that a lot of people are working remotely. Um, this could also affect your work patterns because you just don't have the discipline. And so your work habits are just not working for your creativity. So you just need to pay attention to what that is, uh, whether you're working too many hours, not enough hours, and just try to give yourself some type of structure, change your structure. If the first structure doesn't work, Try another structure, change it again, change it again until you find a structure that works for you. Uh, number four, personal problems. Now, creativity demands focus. And it's hard to concentrate if you're quarreling with your neighbor, you're dealing with toddlers, you're battling an addiction, you're grieving somebody special, you're moving house. If you're lucky, you probably only have had one of these to deal with. But troubles often come in twos or threes. So you might have had one or two or three of these to deal with at the same time. So if you're having personal problems, it's okay. It's okay to take a break and just, you know, just go easy on yourself and say, you know what, I, I can't expect that my creativity will be at an all high when I'm in the middle of, you know, a personal problem. I'm breaking up with my girlfriend or boyfriend or a moving house or I've got toddlers running all over the place making noise and I have to work from home. It, it could just be a personal problem. So you just need to deal with that and uh, give yourself time to heal, give yourself time for the problem to be resolved or go away, and then give yourself time to get your creativity back, right? Um, number five, this one is a huge one, um, poverty. Yes, poverty. It can cause creative block. Oh, but apart from money, you could just be time poor, knowledge poor, or just be short of equipment or other things you need to get the job done. So don't just think about poverty as, you know, money only. It could be just even a poor mind, you know, just the fact that your mindset is so, so poor, you're so negative. Uh, you're just, you just have, you're coming from a place of lack all over the place. You just, you just feel like you're never good enough. You're not going to make it. And, you know, that could just be a poverty of the mind and that will affect your creativity. So, you know, um, like me, 
right now. I want to buy new equipment. Everybody knows that. I talk to you and I say, I want to buy new equipment. I talk to my engineers and I say, I want to buy new equipment. And, you know, I'm asking you right now. You're listening. Won't you support me? If you want to support me to buy new equipment, uh, you know that we have an account with uh, Shukran. So go to www.useshukran.com forward slash CR. CR for credit, uh, forward slash e digital Africa and dash us some money, won't you? You know, so that we can buy new equipment and, you know, keep the show going and make it keep sounding amazing, right? And uh, also so that we can help other people, other podcasters really uh, to also develop their own content. So support us so we can make more episodes. If you want to do that, again, go to uh, www use shukran.com forward slash cr forward slash e-digital africa and that'll also be in the show notes so check it out um number six overwhelm now sometimes a block just comes from having too many commitments too many ideas and you're just overwhelmed by all the many incoming demands and information you're just like oh i want to write a book and then i want to do an ebook and i want to do 20 e-courses and it's just all too much And you just don't know where to start, where to stop, where to go, where to just say enough, enough to all the ideas. I want to just do one at a time. This is a great time to get organized, write everything down and then just, you know, put some dates around them and put some time around them and just say, you know what, I'm only going to focus on the book for now and then I'll do the course in a few months and then I'll do this next year and then in five years I'll do this instead of trying to get them all done at the same time or just say oh let me do a little bit of everything and then you know then you're just a jack of all trades and master of none because you really didn't focus on one thing at a time so now that we all know about all the creative blocks let us talk about how to deal with them right so you know we're going to talk about how to deal with them and then eight apps that will help you to deal with creative blocks right so a couple of these i use um let's get right into it the apps right and then we'll go to a quick break um Number one app for me is Haiku Jam. It's an app available on iOS and Android, super minimalist, and it allows up to five people to collaborate on a poem by adding their own lines. So you can get some inspiration from this. Imagine getting ideas from people halfway around the world. Amazing stuff. And you might be thinking to yourself, okay, how is writing a haiku going to help me with my creativity? Well, it does because, you know, as you know, a haiku is a type of Japanese uh, poem with this about five lines. And, you know, just, just the act of working together with other people, thinking outside the box again, you know, doing something different can open up your creativity in other ways. Um, another app is Writing Challenge. So this is an app that knows when you're stuck and it gives you prompts to keep going going. So that's what writing challenge does. So if you're a writer, this is a great one for you. It's available also on iOS, Android, and for Mac users. There's even a kiddie version. So who knew kids had creative blocks too? Mm. Anyways, let's take a quick break. And uh, when we come back, I'll talk about some of my other favorites that are on this list. So don't go anywhere. We're talking about being creative, uh, you know, and the creative blocks that can happen to you and how to get over them using these apps. Guys, you're listening to Everything Digital. My name is Faith History. Don't even think about changing the dial. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right. Faith History back again. Everything digital. All right. So let's finish up our list of apps that you can use uh, to ginger yourself up for your creativity. This one is my absolute favorite. It's called Meditate Me. Now, when nothing seems to work, you can try a guided meditation. Android and iPhone users can get this app called Meditate Me. Trust me, it will seem like your mind had an explosion of ideas after meditating. And let me tell you something. I'm going to do a series on meditating. Um, um, in the near future and you guys are in for a treat. I've been using it a lot um, and it really helps. I've even got my six-year-old son uh, meditating with me now, even though he can't concentrate for long periods of time. So we just do the really short five-minute ones. Uh, and Brain Sparkers, the next one, as the name implies, this is another app that gives you random prompt cards to spark your brain and stimulate your mind. It also has a kid's pack with over 100 ideas to keep them busy. Uh, it's only for iPhone users though. Simple Mind um, 
is another one. And this one allows you to see all the contents of your mind. It's a mind mapping app, allows you to dump ideas in one long page. You can type text, pictures, voice notes, whatever, you know, everything that just comes to mind, just dump it all there. And you can then, you know, come back to it later. Then we've got sketchbook, we've got creativity cards, we've got Colorfy. Like the apps are endless for, you know, getting your creative mojo back. And I hope I've been able to just spark your, your mind up and get your creative juices flowing and if there are any apps that you use or have used in the past that you think oh my goodness faith you need to talk about this one definitely pop me a mail uh send us an email at everything digital ng at gmail.com and also you can dm us of course you can hang out with us on everything digital africa um on Instagram. Okay. Everything digital on Instagram. So that's all for today, guys. If you know that you've enjoyed the show today, please do subscribe to our podcast channel, wherever you get your podcast and on YouTube, uh, just go to everything digital TV. Uh, so please go ahead and subscribe there as well. You can like and comment. All right. We definitely always respond to your comments. And for every single one who is following us on social media, who interacts with us, we see you, we love you. And, um, I just want to share this final uh, fascinating fact before we go. Uh, You know that your brain does more creative work when you're tired, right? Can you believe that? Yep, yep. This is because your brain can easily blur the lines uh, on the old connections that you've made with certain thoughts. And now, you know, you can make new connections and boom, there goes your idea. So let me tell you something. Even when you're tired, it's okay to just, you know, pick up a book or journal and just write down your ideas because you'll be surprised at what new ideas come to play. So always carry a notebook. This is what writers do, by the way. Always carry a little notebook or little notepad or a little, you know, uh, three by five cards that you can put in your pocket so that when ideas come, wherever you are, you can just jot them down and use them up later. Okay. All right, guys. Until next time, when we bring you more show and more digital ideas and everything else in between, it's bye for now from me, your girl, Faith History. Toodles! Toodles! For more on this topic, visit www.edigitalafrica.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Everything Digital is brought to you by MTN. This is a Faith History production.